This is the brand new 80.1 meter support yacht U81. One of the largest support vessels ever built. And no, you did not mishear me, this stunning 80 meter vessel is a support super yacht. She is brand new and was built in the UAE by Al Wadi Damon. U81 is actually a converted vessel, having started life in 2015 as a platform supply vessel. Those of you who love commercial vessels as much as you love private yachts will no doubt recognize the whole design and profile as being that which you would generally find tending to offshore rigs. Once the vessel was built in 2016, her outfitting was not completed. There is speculation that owing to the collapse of oil prices between 2014 and 2016, large projects such as the build of platform supply vessels were put on hold. In 2019, Damon Shipyards marketed the vessel in the hope of finding an owner to complete the project. She was sold in early 2022. There is quite a bit of speculation online about who owns U81, but I am always more interested in the boat itself rather than who owns it. Just quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as most of you who watch this will forget to. The new owner appointed Azure Yacht Design, who completed the exterior design and naval architecture. Azure Yacht Design also completed the basic engineering that had been halted in 2016. Let me show you some of the external features that I love about U81. Firstly, check out the angle and the height of that massive bow. It is hard to envision a sea state that U81 would not be able to handle. Having spent five years traveling the world on three frigates and an aircraft carrier, I cannot tell you how much me and my former shipmates would have loved to have had an enclosed forecastle. Being able to work the lines and operate the anchor whilst being protected from the elements will be great for U81's crew. My regular viewers will know that when it comes to boats, my favorite place on board is the bridge. U81 has a massive bridge that extends out onto the port and starboard sides with ceiling to floor windows, which makes operating this ship in tight spaces much easier for U81's crew. There aren't many support vessels out there that are big enough to land a Chinook helicopter on, but the flight deck on U81 is huge. Although I doubt many Chinooks will be landing on this vessel's flight deck. And check out that massive crane. It is so big that I bet this support vessel could carry an array of tenders, the size of which you would probably usually find in an exclusive marina. But what are your favorite features? Let me know in the comments. As mentioned before, U81 has a length of 80.1 meters. She has a beam of 16.2 meters and a draft of 6.15 meters. Her volume is 3,435 gross tons, and she is powered by two Caterpillar engines, which give her a cruising speed of 12.5 knots. She has a steel hull and a steel superstructure. There is no information online regarding her range or top speed, but I would be surprised if this vessel had a range that was under 7,000 nautical miles. If you know what her range is, then let me know in the comments. I love it when I see commercial vessels which have been transformed into private yachts, whether as a support vessel or a primary vessel. When you have spent a few years at sea, you realize that every boat has a unique personality. And this is one of the reasons why I love the thought of a tough and sturdy steel offshore support vessel now being used as a support vessel for private yachts. If I were a ship, then that is the sort of life at sea I would want. Now, I know that many of you would have loved to have seen the interior of U81, but the videos and footage that I've got, courtesy of my Instagram friend, Guy Fleury, are the only images and video that I have. Hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll get some public domain available images and footage and we can have a look inside this magnificent vessel. The aim of this video is just to show you the boat in a little bit more detail and to talk about some of her stunning features. But what do you think about U81? Let me know in the comments below. Obviously I'd like to say a massive thanks for watching this video. 
please give us a like so that more people on YouTube will get to see it. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you've got access to a boat that you would like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then you can come and find me on Instagram or you can send me an email. I'll leave my email address in the video description. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel as it grows, then please consider becoming a channel member. Channel membership is basically YouTube's version of Patreon. If you want to find out more about that, again, I'll leave a link in the video description or you can click on the join button that appears underneath the right hand corner of this video. It's been an honor to be able to show you this boat and to talk about some of her features and please don't forget to check out my other videos. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.